morning, everyone. Let's go ahead and get started in a seated or standing position. Let's just remember to have that length through our spine here, creating that space between each vertebrae. We're gonna do our chin tucks for 10. Let's get ready and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, still maintaining that length through our spine. Let's do our head turns, five each side, alternating. Here we go. One, back to center, other side. Two, back to center, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, all right. So we're gonna get into the time portions of our workout now, starting with our time warm up. It is the same as last week. So we've been starting with cat cow for a while now. So remember, either seated with your hands on the uh, edge of your thighs here, and we're rounding and untucking, or you can stand and hinge at your hips and um, uh, put your palms down on the chair here. I'm gonna do round one, seated. All right, so let's get ready. 30 seconds is going on the clock. And in three, two, and one, here we go. So we're thinking about waking up our spine here, right? Gentle movement, stretching and flexing, going through your range, not forcing it. We're just waking the body up gently here. We've got three rounds of this, so each round you may feel you go a little bit deeper. And time. Okay, next uh, exercise is our four count cherry picker. So feet are right outside the shoulders, either seated or standing. We're gonna be reaching outwards. We're gonna be reaching towards the middle and we're gonna be reaching towards the inside and then back up. I'll show one stand, just out, middle, in, and then up. And I just wanna remind you right now with allergy season upon us and everything, sometimes it can make you feel a little dizzy, a little lightheaded, a little not yourself. So please, you know, just modify if you need to and realize that sometimes this time of the year, we could be feeling a little different due to some seasonal allergies and relax. Okay, our next one is our lateral two-step knee raise. So it's gonna be step together, step knee, okay? Seated with me, we're doing lateral tap, lateral tap, opposite knee, okay? So you pick which variation you'd like to work on. Warming up our hips and our lateral movements here. And then the last one in this circuit is our four cross body reaches to three, four to four diagonal reaches, three and four. Remember, if you're standing, that opposite foot's gonna pivot a little more than if you're seated. Just feel a nice stretch through the thoracic spine and your back here, back side of the rib cage. These are our four warm up moves, and we're going to go through it two more times. I will be moving to standing next round, but if you prefer to stay seated, please do so. All right, so we're going back to the top, and um, we're starting with our cat cow, either seated or seated. Okay, so here we go. Begin rounding and then unpacking, right? Just being very present, mindful of how your body's moving. Trying to keep your thoughts just connected to the movement versus, you know, tasks that you have to get done throughout the day. Take the time to just focus on you right now. Going back to our four count cherry picker. Okay, so feet are just, just outside the shoulders, a little bit of width here. Okay, and we're reaching outwards. 
and then middle, and then between the legs and up. Okay, we're not forcing anything. You don't have to force your fingertips to the ground if they don't wanna go there. You wanna take it just to the edge of where your body allows it to go, all right? And at your own pace and rhythm too. Okay, next one is our um, lateral two-step to knee raise, okay? Or your lateral um, uh, tap step together, step knee. All right, and the final one is our four alternating cross body reaches to four diagonal reaches, okay? Let's get ready and begin. Think of pressing through your palm gently. You might feel that stretch deepen a little bit through the back of your rib cage. And remember, if you're doing the seated variation, the pivot on the back foot is not going to be as pronounced just because of the nature of being standing to seated. And time. Okay, we got one more round through, and then we're going to move on. Okay, so back to that cow. Final time here. Seated or standing. Let's go. Time. Okay, final set of four count cherry pickers. Feet are outside the width of the shoulder, whether you're seated or standing. Okay, let's get ready. Begin. We're reaching outwards, middle, in, and up. And time, all done with those. Last set of lateral two-step to knee raise or lateral tap, two lateral taps to knee raise. Ready? Begin, step together, step. Okay, and our final warm up exercise is our four alternating cross body reaches to diagonal reaches, to four diagonals. Ready? Here we go. And time. Okay, guys, great work. That's the warm up. Okay. So let me go ahead and explain our first block, which I believe is the same or close enough to the same as last week. And it will be a 45 15. Okay. So we are going to do um, our sumo squat. Okay. So with our sumo squat, our feet are outside of our. Um, <clears throat> 
excuse me here one second my auto lock is set too short and I can, my timer goes off I can't see, I can't see what time it is all right so uh feet the edge of our heel is outside of our shoulder width right and we're going to lower down two drive it up two and and you see here I'm not I'm not locking out at the top okay I'm keeping a little bit of tension okay and, and remember as we're coming up we're pressing our heel toes into the floor to help engage our glutes okay and from the side it's down two up two okay you can hold on to the back of your chair or the side of your chair if you want a little bit of uh stability otherwise you can just do it that way and our seated variation is our lateral path flexed foot leg extension and then other side okay so that's our first exercise after that we are going into a hinge row row up okay nothing new here we've done this one right from our standing position my feet are underneath my hips to our core hinging all right nice neutral spine through here okay not rounding right right here row row squeeze the glutes to stand back up okay and then our last one is our curl and press okay you could do this without weights with weights with water bottles with soup cans it looks the same seated or standing and remember if you have shoulder issues that prevent you going overhead just give me bicep curls right here okay all right so 45 seconds is going on the clock round one i will do seated we are starting with our sumo squats or our lateral tap to leg raise ready and begin there we go so remember, if you're doing the standing variation, you're thinking about two seconds down, driving through the heels to come back up for two seconds without locking your knees at the top, okay? You can do it with weight, without weight, holding onto the chair, not holding onto the chair, or you could be joining me here for our seated variation. trying to develop that mind-muscle connection. So really trying to stay present and think about the muscles you're working in the lower body. Moving on to our hinge, you know, hinging forward for, to prepare for our row, and then two bent over rows, and then we're gonna squeeze the glutes to come back up, okay? Ready, begin. Hinge. Okay, so when you're lifting back up from standing, you're thinking of your glutes lifting you up versus like your head lifting you up, right? Working on our back side, the posterior side of our body. Help promote healthy posture and a strong back. All right, and then our final exercise is our curl to press. Bring it back, or if overhead is not good for you, just take it to your bicep curls, okay? All right, ready? And begin. Grab my weights. Sorry, guys. Very thoughtful and intentional movement, right? Make sure your mind is connected to the movements your body is creating, okay? Staying present. And remember, time is a guide, okay? You can, you can always stop a little early or start a little late if you need to take a, or, you know, stop a little in the middle if you need a water break or, just a little extra rest, okay? And time, so that's round one. Two more just like that. You can stay seated if you are, or you can move to standing with me. Um, again, sumo squat or lateral tap to leg raise. All right, my, my heels are coming outside the width of my shoulders, okay? And then I'm going to sink it down. Two, drive through the heels, two. 
I'm really focused on feeling engagement through my glutes, my legs, my inner thighs. Pressing through the heels as you're coming up really helps. You should feel like you can kind of wiggle your toes a little bit. If you feel like the weight is preventing you from feeling your muscles as much because you have to focus on holding the weight, I would get rid of it and just try to focus on feeling the engagement with your mind, okay? And time, okay. Hinge, or hinge in two rows. I'm standing with my feet under my hips. My toes are facing forward. All right, I'm going to get ready and push my hips back so my spine stays nice and neutral. Row row, squeeze the glutes to stand back up, okay? So remember, we're really focused on the quality of our movement, not just trying to bust out as many reps as we want, because we often miss training the muscle uh, the way we're intended to when we do that. Five more seconds here. Two and one, okay. And now we are back to our curl and press, seated or standing. Again, if the overhead press is uncomfortable, your shoulders don't like it, stick with just the curl, okay? Core is tight. I'm squeezing my glutes to help protect my lower back. I'm going to curl it and press and bring it back. Bicep, shoulder, Return, return, okay? Think about what you put in your kitchen. What do you have on your, your top shelves in your kitchen and the cabinets, right? It can mimic, you're picking something up off the counter and putting it on that top shelf. And time, okay. That was round two. We have one more round to go through. Okay, so we're going back to our final set of sumo squats, or if you're seated, the lateral tap the leg raise. My heels are outside the width of my shoulders. Toes are outwards. I'm sinking down. Two, drive it up. Two, down. Two, press through the heels. Two, remember if you're trying to Build that mind muscle connection. And so if the weights feel like a distraction, get rid of them. Okay. More weight doesn't always equal better muscle contraction. Okay. You have to develop that mind muscle connection first. Okay. Woo. Feeling them. And time, okay, all done with those. Hinge, two rows, okay? And then we're using the glutes to stand up. So again, those feet are right in line under our hips, our toes are facing forward, okay? The hips are going to push back, my spine stays straight, like I, like you could put a tray with drinks on my back and it would, it, it, it would stay there, okay? Until I stand up at least. <laughs> And remember with your row, you're thinking of your elbows, of your back muscles, pulling your elbows back. Keep the focus as your back being the prime mover. We don't wanna think of our fingertips as pulling those weights up, okay? We wanna think of the back as pulling the elbows up. Two and one, okay. Final uh, exercise in this block, then we're gonna rest and move on. We've got our curl and press. And again, the press is not good for you. Just give me the curl, all right? Core is engaged. I'm squeezing my glutes if I'm standing. Again, that helps take pressure off the lower back, especially as we're lifting overhead. Okay, so keep squeeze the glutes. 
move at your own rhythm and pace. And remembering that our timer is just our guide to help make sure we finish on time. <laughs> And time. All right, guys. Go ahead and take a break here. We're going to move into a 40 10 now. Okay, so a little less work time and a little less recovery time. Okay, so three exercises again. We are doing steel jacks. Okay, all right, so steel jacks standing. All right, we're working our back here and stretching our front. Okay, these are really good for posture with the upper <laughs> with the upper body. Okay. And then we're also doing, all right, um, here's your options here. Uh, your in-between option is keeping a flexed foot, okay, and lifting up and out. Okay. Lifting up and out. Okay. You're gonna feel that really get into this area right here, your glute knees. Or you could do a toe tap. This is your uh, level lower right here not as hard, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, steel hood, but like this with the arms, okay? Um, or we can do our level one, which is our seated variation, okay? All right, so, and if you're super advanced, you may be put, I'm doing the wrong arms, you may put a couple jumps in there, but that's only if you feel very confident, okay? So that is uh, exercise one. Then we are doing a, our knee tuck and twist. Okay, so we're going to alternate. My heels are on the floor here. Everyone's seated. Okay, and we're twisting, twisting. I'm scooping and leaning back slightly. I'm not upright. Okay, by leaning back slightly, that that makes you, whether you like it or not, have to engage your core. You actually don't even really need to think about it. Just leaning back, your core has to activate here. Okay, and we're going to knee tuck and twist knee tuck and twist. If the knee tuck becomes too much, just stay leaning back and twist. Okay, you take the knee tuck out, all right? And then our last one, and I'll remind you of that as we go through, is our total body extensions, okay? So from the, your seated position, it's a hinge. Remember, our arms are like a pendulum. They're just there for the ride, okay? And you can come up onto your toes if you are comfortable with that. Standing, all right? It's we swing back, <coughs> and if you can, you can come up onto your toes. All right. Okay, so the arms are just there for the ride. That's the sneaky one that kind of gets your heart rate up without realizing it quite afterwards. All right, guys, 40 seconds of work. We are starting with our seal jacks and um, all those different variations. Um, here we go in three, two, and one. Okay, so I'm doing seated, so I'm lateral tapping. All right, you can do um, just the toe tap out and touch the floor from side to side from standing, or you can do that bent heel and lift it out to the side. And you're really gonna feel that dig into your glute knee there. And if you're advanced, you're doing some full blown jumps, okay? A little bit of plyometric, it's good for bone density, all right? But only if you feel, if you know you're confident, you know, if you know that's within your, you know, ability, okay? I'm thinking of my shoulder blades pulling my arms back to help make sure that I'm focused on strengthening the muscles in the back while I simultaneously get a stretch through the front. Our next exercise is our, everyone's seated here, okay? And we're doing our knee tuck and twist. Knee tuck and twist. If the knee tuck becomes too aggressive, you can keep both feet planted and just focus on the twist, okay? Twist. Exhale as you twist. Leaning back slightly. And again, remember, if it just feels like it's too much, just twist. Twist, okay? This is your next option here. And time, okay. Total body extensions are next, okay? 
So if you're standing, your feet are gonna be right under your hips, your toes in line are going forward, okay? And we're gonna hinge it down like our bed over row, and then we're gonna come up. All right, again, this is allergy season, and sometimes that can create a little bit of a, you know, a, almost like that dizziness, a little vertigo type feeling or whatever. So, you know, use your, you know, use your good judgment on how you're feeling, okay, to um, pick what level you're gonna do and also your pace, okay? And time, okay, that's round one. If you're seated and you wanna stay there, please do. I will move to standing for the next two rounds. And we're starting with our seal jacks, okay? So I am going to pick the flexed foot variation. I've been really enjoying this one. I kind of feel a nice stretch through my inner thigh, as well as that activation through my glute beam. And remember, you can always play around. You can do a handful like this, and then if you feel you're starting to burn out, you can go to the toe tap one, okay? And it might just relieve some, you know, some discomfort if it's starting to feel too intense, okay? Remember, we want to feel like we're about five to a seven with our workout out of the scale of one to 10. Good, okay. Next we have our, um, everyone seated here, our seated knee tuck and twist, okay? So you can put your hands here across front, like I think, what's this, like I dream, Jean, I dream yeah. genie, yeah. genie arms. <laughs> And remember, if the knee tuck becomes too intense, just keep both the heels planted on the floor and focus on your twisting, okay? I'm exhaling as I twist over. Two and one, okay? Back to total body extensions now, okay? So. Feet are in line under the hips, toes are forward, okay? You're gonna swing back like you're gonna jump forward, right? But then you just come up, maybe onto your toes. You do not have to come up to your toes if you feel like you're gonna lose your balance, okay? That is only if you feel confident with the movement. There's absolutely nothing wrong with just working on the hinge. We have 10 more seconds here, and then we're entering our third and final round for this block. Two and one. Okay, one more time through, guys. Seal jacks, okay? Remember, you have those variations. You could toe tap it out, seated. You can use a flexed foot, okay, which is the variation I'm going for today. Or you could add a couple little regular jumping seal jacks in there to spice it up. Again, if it suits your level. We're working our upper and lower body simultaneously. So sometimes it's a lot to think about, but I am thinking about pulling my shoulder blades together so that my back muscles are working. And I'm also thinking about that side hip area. I feel my muscles working here and back here. Okay, um, back to our final set of our seated uh, knee tuck and twist. Okay, here we go. We do those genie arms. And remember, you always have the option to keep both the heels on the floor and just work on your twist. working our oblique muscles with the twist, working our lower abdominal muscles with the knee tuck. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Okay, good. 
final set of total body extensions, okay? So this works a little bit of our heart and our posterior side of the body, lower back, hamstrings, glutes, and your core, because if you are able to come up onto your toes and feel okay with it, you really need to use a lot of core control because you're stopping all that momentum dead in its tracks while you're on your tippy toes. So, so that is your most advanced version of this particular exercise this is coming up to your toes. <coughs> Again, you do not have to do that. You can stay flat footed if that feels more appropriate. Next time. All right, guys. Second block done. So we're going back to a 45 15. We have two more blocks. We're halfway done. Um, we are doing, oh boy, split squats. Okay, so, <laughs> so split squats. We're going to stay stationary today, all one side and all the other. And I'll show our seated variation then, too. I want you to, if you're looking at the back of your chair, I really want you to take note, the left leg and the right leg, your feet should be like that with that width apart because that's gonna give you stability, okay? Whether you're using the chair or not, that's just something to think of, okay? So you have that distance from left to right, okay? Remember, uh, front foot is completely flat on the floor. The heel should be pressing into the floor, okay? And then we're lowering down. Driving through the heel, lowering down, driving through the heel. I am predominantly working this front leg, okay? The front leg, okay? And that heel, if you feel your heel popping up off the floor, you're gonna have to readjust your stance a little bit because that heel really needs to be down on the floor, okay? Now our seated variation is our seated leg press all on one side, down. This is an excellent exercise. You still get those abs by leaning back slightly. So the seated variation is excellent as well. One side for 45 seconds, the other side for 45 seconds. And then we haven't done this one in a while, guys. Remember this, our rope pull. Okay, so I'm pretending like I'm hoisting a flag. Okay. And I'm really putting a little bit of like grit and gusto into it, a little intensity whether you're seated or standing. And my mom, you can't see my mom, but she's got the perfect stance right now. She's just kind of for standing. She's kind of right here, right? She's right here. So instead of being like right up like this, just pop those hips back ever so slightly. Okay, and that's gonna give you a, a better uh, a center of mass, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, I got a little tickle. Say allergy season, okay? <laughs> mm. All right, guys, so. Starting with our split squat on one leg, okay? Stationary split squat, or you can be with me for round one here. I'm doing our seated leg press all on one side. 45 seconds is going on the clock. Let's get ready. Three, two, and one. So with the seated variation, I'm kind of at the edge of my chair. So I can lean back. So I have room to lean back before we get to the back of the chair. And I'm using the heel of my foot to press something heavy away, some imaginary heavy object. And these aren't for the faint of heart. These are, these are tough right here too. Yeah, these are not easy. So don't you know feel discouraged if you need to take a little rest, if you need to stop a little early, okay? Three. Two and one. Okay. All right. Reset. We have the other side. Okay. Remember, you can, if you're standing, you can use some sort of support if you need it. Okay. Just even knowing that a chair is near you sometimes is enough. You know, like if you're like right in between, you know. And you can always choose to do around standing, around seated, you know, you can mix it up. Two rounds seated, one round standing, vice versa, okay? You don't have to stick with the same variation every single round if it doesn't suit you. 
bring it. Ten more seconds here. Whew. And time. Okay. And then back to our um or going into our rope pull down. This is round one. Okay. So if you're standing, you're kind of pushing those hips back ever so slightly, a little slight bend in the hips, slight bend in the knee. We're working our back muscles here, okay? And time, okay. Ooh, that one's like a, it's, a, it's a sneaky one, yeah, because you're putting a little intensity into it. You think it's it's a simple enough, okay, just pull down, but you know, they're they're the ones that usually get you, you know. All right, back to split squat, round two, or your seated leg press. Okay, so here we go. Come on, down, down, drive it up. Remember, we're focused on quality over quantity. Okay, it's okay if it you know single leg movements are are tough. These are these. This is a difficult exercise. So again, don't feel discouraged if you need a little extra rep. We want to promote proper exercise execution first and foremost. Five good reps is better than ten not so good reps. Okay. Okay, let's get ready for the other side. Let's see standing here. Ready and begin. Going down, driving up. I'm pressing through that front heel, okay? That's going to help you feel it in that front leg, in the glute, especially as you come up. And remember that distance between left and right, from your left foot to your right foot. You want some space in between there for better balance. We have less than 10 seconds here, and then we're going back to our rope pull. Three, two, and time, good. Okay, back to that rope pull. We can do the seated or standing. Remember, if I'm standing, my feet are probably shoulder width apart. You see that space there, shoulder width? And I'm doing this. Just see it ever so slightly. Pop, ready? Here we go. Yes, halfway. Last ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Woo! Come around. Get your drinks as you need it. Okay, don't let that timer deter you from getting a drink. Okay. Last set of. Split squats or leg press on one leg. Okay, on the same leg. Ready? Begin. Okay. So if you're standing, you're making sure that front foot is completely into the floor, right? Pressing the heel to lift and elevate up. Feeling your glute engage right here. You're going to feel your quad working as well. Okay. And again, it's primarily the front leg you're working when you're doing lunges. If you have some tightness in your hip flexors and whatnot, you're gonna feel that back leg working too. Okay, so don't 
don't let it confuse you, but your, your, your mind should be on engaging in that front leg, okay? Three, two, and one. Ooh, okay, one leg done. Other leg go, okay? No more stuff, no more stuff, please. Not nice, I put them in the third set today. Huh? Here we go, three, two, and one. Slow it down, drive it up. Focus on developing mind muscle connection and feeling the engagement. Just staying present, staying present with the, the movement you're doing. Got 15 more seconds here. Now it's 10. And five. Three, two, and one. All right, nice job. Done with the legs here. We got one more set of rope pull. Okay, again, feet are about shoulder width apart. Okay, pop. All right, just pop them back ever so slightly. Ready? <laughs> Begin. little intensity into it if you can. Not so much that you hurt yourself, but you know, feeling like you got a little emotion behind it, right? <laughs> Almost there. Three, two, and one. Okay, nice job. One more block, guys. We're almost there now. Okay, about eight more minutes of work. Go ahead and rest and recover here. We're going back to a 40-10. So just a little less work time, but also a little less recovery time. Remember our single arm overhead march. We're going to do that again. Okay. So remember, you can hold, you can even, if you have a kettlebell, you can hold your kettlebell above head. Okay. All right. So right here, right? We're kind of offset. This weight is offset. So it, it's it's demanding our core to work harder to make up for the imbalance on one side or the other. All right. Exhale. 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 This is working your transverse abdominals. So it's ones that loop all the way around your spine, your deepest core muscles, as well as your lower abdominals here. Okay. Um, seated variation is going to be the same. Okay. You're just all right, and you're still working on those same muscle groups, okay? Now, if the weight's too much overhead, maybe you can just, you know, body weight, hold one up, okay? And you're creating a, a, an imbalance just because one hand's up, one's down. If overhead hurts, regardless, you can, you can be, you know, you can, you can hold a weight right here if you want. You don't have to hold a weight at all. You could do something like this, okay? All right, so... Think of those modifiers if you have shoulder issues or impingement, okay? So we're gonna do one side. I'm switching this. I'm so confused going through last week's one. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna do one side with one arm. We got 10 seconds rest. We're gonna do the other side with the other arm, okay? And then we're gonna do our bob, our, our bob and weave move like we did last time. That's it, that's it, right? So imagine that imaginary string <laughs> that's just like right above your shoulder here, and you have to step under, okay? Like uh, under and over, okay? So our seated variation is, and you don't need, for the seated variation, if it feels too complex, we're just gonna focus on a lengthening through the spine and looping, uh, you know, over without incorporating the lower body, okay? You'll feel a nice stretch if you're really lengthening through the spine. And standing, you can see, step under that imaginary rope, okay? All right, so, all right, let's get this done. 40 seconds is going on the clock. 
We're going to take a weight if you can. Okay, and we're going to hold it straight up overhead. And three, two, and one. Okay, and we're going to march. All right. I mean, nice and controlled, okay, because that, you know, the slower we go with these movements, the more core eccentric it is, okay? The faster we go, the more cardio it is, okay? So right now we're really focused on strengthening that core. Remember, you do not have to hold a weight, and if the overhead, even without a weight, is too much, and you just want to do something like this, okay, like this without a weight. Do that instead, okay? All right, same thing, other side, okay? So we're switching arms. Two, one, here we go, back to our march. It's okay if your breathing doesn't line up completely as you're learning, but I'm trying to exhale each knee tuck. Ten more seconds, then we bob and weave. Two and one. Okay, we can put our weight aside if you're using one. All right, bob and weave. You're gonna lateral step under and over. Okay, and if you're seated with me, we're just kind of doing it with our upper body. We're reaching, and you should feel a nice stretch through your spine here. It's actually quite, feels quite good. I'm trying to create that length in the seated position. I'm thinking about the space in between my vertebrae. As I sweep over and under, over and under. Five more seconds. Two. And time, okay, back to the top. We're going back to our march. So try to remember what um, arm you started with here, okay? Here we go, begin. Exhale as the knee comes up. It looks good. That's it. That little pause. Feel all those receptors in the body kind of saying, oh, okay. Yep. We got to stay still here for a second. Five more seconds. And time. Okay. Other side. Okay. Other side. Remember, you could be here. You could be here. If, if overhead hurts, okay? Here we go. Really nice functional core exercise. Okay, back to bob and weave. All right, bob and weave, and three. Imagine that imaginary rope, two and one. Over and under, over and under. Whatever tempo feels good for you. Remember, I'm seated, we're not really utilizing the legs, we're more utilizing the lengthening through the spine and creating that nice stretch as we move in that rotational pattern, that side to side pattern. Five, three, two, 
and one. Okay, one more round, guys. Almost there, okay? Almost there. Use your modifiers if you need them. Remember, you can always go from standing to seated. Here we go. And remember that three strikes are out rule. It's okay if sometimes you lose your footing once a little bit, you know, oh, that happens to all of us. Twice even sometimes. But if you hit three times in the row, you kind of keep on wobbling and fumbling there a little bit, then it's time to modify, okay? Five more seconds. Two, one. All done with that side. Still got one more side. And three, two, and one. Here we go. And by focusing on that exhale with every knee raise, it makes you pull your belly button back towards your spine, which you can see. That's a muscle contraction, muscle contraction, right? Every time it pulls back towards your belly button with your exhale. Less than 10 more seconds and we're all done with these guys. And we just have bob and weave. Two and one. Okay, I'm done with those. Last set of bob and weave, okay? So we're gonna step over and under, over and under that rope. Here we go, over, under, over, under, and one swift movement. Nimble and agile, right? Side to sides are always my favorite. It seems like anytime you do any side to side, they always are the most fun to me. <laughs> Almost there, last five seconds. Three, two, and time. All right, guys, go ahead and get a drink. We will um, do a little quick stretch. How many questions? All right, so if you're standing, let's go ahead and do our back of the chair stretch. Okay, this, because I, I love this stretch because it gets a lot um, in here. You're getting your shoulder stretch here. You're getting your lower back. You're getting some posterior or the back of your legs. You can, you can add a little movement. You can kind of sway your hips from one side and then the other and feel how that stretch deepens from side to side. And if that is just not comfortable for you, okay, let's do our stretch, stretch in our chair. Where I'm trying to lift my arms up and create length in my spine here, right here. Okay, and I'm just I'm trying not to round. Okay, it's okay if your arms have to be here, right? But just try to create that length in the spine so that we're not doing this. Okay, so good. And then from here, let's go ahead and um, come at, into a seated position. Okay, we can go ahead and look over our back shoulder here and give a thoracic twist. You're not forcing your head to look over that back shoulder if it doesn't want to go that far. Again, you're just going within your edge, okay? And then just trying to get comfortable in it. It shouldn't feel like it's horrible to stay in this position because you're only going to your edge. You're only going to where it feels comfortable. And then let's sweep those arms up, bend over, and do the other side here. And then we'll come back to center. Let's get our neck and that upper trap by gently pressing and pulling, seated or standing here, whatever feels right. Big inhale and exhale. We are done. Another day in the books. And let's go ahead and switch to the other side and pressing and 
flowing. Enjoying the inhale and exhale. Sounds like it's going to be a beautiful day today. Hope that you enjoyed the sunshine. All right, guys, and let's go ahead and inhale up. Palms together, exhale. Heart, and one more time. And exhale. Heart. Okay, guys, thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed today. Mm -hmm.